What's up guys, Goody here, back with another Jujutsu Kaisen manga chapter review. We got a good old fashioned slugfest between Yuji and another sorcerer, plus an ally who is deceiving one of our main heroes. Chapter 162 brings Jujutsu Kaisen back to its roots with a great balance of humor and fighting, so it was very enjoyable to me. Remember to smash that like button and subscribe for more, and without further ado, let's get into it. If you didn't notice, I missed chapter 161, and there's a good reason for that. It was pretty boring, and I've been sick for quite a while if you couldn't tell by my voice. Well, chapter 161 shows Megami and Yuji enter the culling game and get separated by the randomized location drop system. Yuji's immediately assaulted by a pair of sorcerers, and Megami agrees to protect a girl named Remy in exchange for her leading him to Higurumu Hiromi. We pick up in chapter 162 with Yuji fighting the second sorcerer of the pair, a man named Haba. He uses a technique that allows him to use a propeller made of his hair for offense and to fly through the air. This man is flying around like a dang helicopter and Yuji jumps around to dodge and attack them because he's just simply built different. They get in a back and forth slugfest and Yuji decides that if Haba constantly has the high ground, it wouldn't be too good for him. He must have taken notes from Obi-Wan Kenobi during his movie binge at the beginning of the story. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. Yuji decides to make Haba attack him indoors, which Haba scoffs at since he's a master of helicopter combat apparently, and he flies straight at Yuji, propellers aimed to chop him up. Yuji theorizes that despite the strength of the propeller technique, he should be able to knock the guy out with one hit to the head, and now that the propellers were coming straight at him, Haba's head's completely exposed. Yuji knocks him down easily, and Haba thinks Yuji must have shattered his hand. But Yuji's hand's fine, Haba just got beat pretty easily, I mean, because once again, Yuji's just simply built different. Yuji then tries to ask Haba about Higuruma Hiromi, but someone else interrupts him and tells Yuji that they know about Higuruma. It's the guy who guided Yuji in when he teleported inside the colony, and we know his name to be Amai. He asks Yuji if he remembers him, and Yuji can't place him for anything. Amai calls him famous and refers to him as the Tiger of West Junior High, which was apparently Yuji's nickname back in his hometown, even though he thinks it's pretty lame. Then we flip over to Megami, who's still with the woman from last chapter known as Remy. He's been asking who she is, as he was under the impression that since she's out and about, she must be an ancient sorcerer reborn to participate in the culling game. She's pretty offended that he calls her old, and she explains that she's a player who's forced to play, and in her own words, kill or be killed. She's been playing for 12 days, and she's learned that if you hesitate, you die. Apparently she's seen people get high on their own power within the confines of the game. And this has blurred the line between modern and past sorcerers. Megami worries that Yuji might underestimate modern sorcerers because of, in the last chapter Megami tells him that modern sorcerers value life more than the past ones. So try to make allies with them. Well we just saw Yuji beat up one last chapter and Haba this chapter so I really don't think he has to worry about Yuji too much. Back to reality, Megami asks Remy where they're going. She won't tell him, claiming that he could just kill her after she does. And he says that she could die before they get there and he would never know where to go. To which she replies that it's literally his job to protect her so don't worry about it. And then we're back to Yuji and Amai. Yuji questions him about being friends with Haba and the airplane lady and he says he was just their lackey. We learn that his full name is Amai Rin. And then we go split screen with Amai telling Yuji that Higuruma is at Ikebukuro district while at the same time Rumi tells Megami that he is at the Shinjuku district. If you couldn't tell, at least one of them's lying. Both Yuji and Megami are shown to wonder if the others headed to the respective district that they were told, and then we get another boss fight set up. Some new tattooed sorcerer is waiting on that child, in quotations, to bring him his next victim. Whether that child is Remy or Amai, we don't know. Obviously it's set up to look like it's one of them, and we do know that one of them's lying because they said two different things. But I'm going to go out on a limb here and guess that this guy could be in a totally different colony and his confrontation could be with Hikari or Panda. Let me know if you guys agree. And if not, do you think Remy or Amai is working for him? Also, when do you think we'll finally see Hikari fight and use his curse technique? It's been built up for months now, so the suspense is kind of killing me, I'm not going to lie. I hope you've enjoyed this breakdown of chapter 162. It's been pretty short, but the chapter was pretty short and uneventful as well. There are so many plot threads right now and the story could choose to go down any one of them next week. Remember to smash that like button and subscribe for more Jujutsu Kaisen content. I'll have another chapter review next week. Check out the video or playlist linked on screen for more. And with that, I'm out. Peace.